Hello everybody, I'm Derek Chubbers. Welcome back to American Truck. And we've got ourselves off Peter Belt. I just noticed we have 7% damage. What? 7%? Hold on. Diagnostics. Oh, that's right. Tires. That makes sense. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So last time. Great market. There we go. Last time we drove from Prim all the way up to Jackpot. And then we talked about what we were going to do out of Jackpot. Well, we want to do some improvements to the truck. And to do that, we need to go to Elko. So out of Jackpot, we got a bunch of stuff. And I'm kind of looking. I was looking for stuff that goes past Elko. So this doesn't. But the hay does. And I'm like, well, I can take some hay. We can stop at Elko. Right? And then kind of tool on over to Eureka. That's 10 grand. There's nothing that takes me directly to. I mean, we got this one that goes down to Truckee, which is fine, but that's only 8,000. We could go down to Sacramento back home. I think our home is in Sacramento. I can't even remember anymore. Um, go to Ready. Now, it'd be slightly shorter. We got a short trailer. No, I think the hay. 21,000 pounds of hay. Hey, you guys. Let's go. All right, let's get this wheel sorted out. Yeah. Perfect. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Clutch. All right, we got the truck started. Let's turn the truck up slightly. I want truck noises. I want truck noises. All right. I got my microphone in the wrong spot again. Oh, my goodness. I'm a mess today. All right. Let's, um, why would I put my hands on the wet, on the wazid keys? I don't know. Let's, uh, what do we got? Third gear? That sounds good. All right, let's uh, flip this guy around here. It's obvious the hay is coming out of here. I did check, by the way, in FSX. Good lord, truck's louder. Um, I did check in FSX. There really is an airport here in um, Jackpot. Enta. All right, let's take the job. All right, yep, there's one behind us. It's what I thought. It's what I thought. All right, microphone, come here. There we go. All right, that should be slightly better. Not 100%. All right. There. That should be better. I got I to gotta redo some of my uh, my setup here. Woo Hello, drive, you idiot. Okay, now now I got a problem because I've leaned forward and my microphone is... My headphones are now stuck in my microphone. Stop, truck. All right, why is this a problem to me today? I don't know. There. I think that I think that solved the problem. I think. Urch. All right, Joy Three. I think is that one. Ha 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 ha. All right. Let's see. Uh, lights. Let's see. I gotta remember where the. Those are the lights on. Blinkers. I don't remember what that does. I don't remember what that does. Okay, one of those is the Jake break, and I can't remember which one. Uh oh. Those high beams. Windshield wipers. That's the Jake break. Okay. I don't remember what that does. Okay, well, whatever. Let's check out our load here. Let's get those off of there. All right. Hey, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we got we to gotta make our truck look better. Okay. Put that back on there. Let's, uh, let's boogie. Let's boogie. I think we've done pretty well. I mean, we haven't, um, we haven't completely knackered it up. And we're making good money. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to make the left turn up here, I think. Because that'll let us discover more jackpot. Get out of that gear. Come on, car. Come on. Somebody over there. Uh, that's a cop. Here we go. So we're going to make the uh, left turn here instead of going straight. Right turn. Ha! Uh, directions. Directions are overrated, people. Directions are overrated.
Why am I in neutral? I don't know. That's six gear. I don't. I can't remember. Is it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> we're gonna make it somehow. Somehow we will make it to uh, wherever we're going. Elko, that's where we're going. <clears throat> you know, be really good. I just thought of this. Okay, that's a lie. I've thought about this for a lot, but you know, be really great in Euro in both American Truck and Euro Truck <clears throat> is to be able to buy used trucks that would be really great I think anyway because then you know you can you can get going with life a lot sooner then uh, that's fifth gear so does that make that eighth gear no. I don't remember how many gears do I have guys do you remember? Because I don't. I swear I had more than six. But God, I have more than six gears in this truck. Huh. I get confused because, like, when I'm done with, with a record set, I put my wheel up. And then I often won't touch my wheel for several weeks. So I'm now I'm looking at this going, well, obviously I need more than six gears. If I shift this thing straight down, it'll go to neutral. See? So now we're neutral. So if I press that button, we stay in neutral. Still in neutral. Still in neutral. And that's now fifth gear. Do that, that's sixth gear. That's neutral. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Urge! Sorry, truck behind me. I gotta figure out my gears. Alright. That's seventh gear. So. Okay. So, how did I get the seventh gear? Is that. Dude, I will come back there and punch you in the throat. Okay, so that's first gear. That's second gear. That's eighth gear. So turn that off at second gear. That's first gear. So that's how I get the fifth gear. Okay, so for third. Man, I'm going to come back there and punch you in the throat. Stupid clown. I got my hazards on for a reason. All right, so then if I press that and do that, I'm in seventh gear. There we go. I figured out my gears, people. I figured out my gears. Ha, ha. Oh, my God. All right, truck. You're loud. There we go. Truck is less loud now. All right, we're in ninth gear. Woohoo! We got nine gears. God, that was a fun one. Could have gone around. Stupid jerk waffle. Next time I punch you in the throat. Jerk. Woo! Hello. It hit a call box. <laughs> this is ten speed. Nope. We're gonna just stay in ninth gear. I'm not even gonna mess with it now. We're in ninth gear. We're going 55. It's good enough. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it be like that. All right. I wonder which one of these is my cruise. Is it that one? No. Aha! I found my cruise control. Woohoo! I need to write down this stuff, you know? I need to, I need to write down. Okay, this is how all these things work. Because, good grief. I have to relearn every time. It's a disaster area. Uh, anyway, it's it's ten minutes in. How are you guys? Well, almost ten minutes. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Uh, I know a lot of you have, like ground and ground and ground in American Truck. Those of you that have it, because those of you that are my Steam friends, I see you constantly in American Truck and everything, and I'm just like, well, okay, cool. I just I just can't bring myself to do it. Fifty five. 55? We're going 50. We're good. Truck works. Total truck care. Cool. Ah, we got to get on the interstate. That makes sense. But there's this little loop here. So tempting. So tempting. But we're not going to do it. Okay. Settle West Resort. Oh. Hey there, cop. Whoa. That turn. I still need to work on that. <laughs> 
Why the T27 is like Twitchy Twitch Von Twitcherson here? I don't know, but it is. Where's my run up lane? Good grief. No run up lane. That's. It's rubbish, I tell you. It's rubbish. Rubbish. All right. We're on the way to Elko. I think that's where we're going. No. I mean, I don't know where we're going. We're following the red line. No, it was Elko, wasn't it? I don't know. We're pulling over at this next major city because it has a truck depot. And we're going to depot our truck. See if we can add some stuff to our truck. Way station. Oh. Ah. Uh. Figured that was going to happen. Oh, all right. Ooh, ba -doo. There we go. Urge. To pass the inspection, press enter. Right. I'm starting 21,000 pounds in 8th gear because I'm an idiot, but why not? I'll just rip my clutch out, right? Who needs a clutch? That's why you have an automatic, right? <laughs> I read, very sadly, that the number of people who will buy a manual car has been dropping precipitously lately especially among young men young women seem to not mind manual cars so much but apparently young men don't want manual cars and i don't understand this like now they're selling sport cars that are only an automatic it's a travesty i mean did i enjoy whoa dude what are you doing other than not driving well good lord um did I enjoy driving the Ferrari 458 Italia with the, the flappy paddle gearbox? Yes, I did. It was great fun to drive that thing. But I'd never own something like that. I mean, if I have a sports car, I want a manual, you know? Why is this truck... Why is the... Why is the brakes? Why, why is English not a language I'm apparently capable of using right now? Ah, there we go, second gear. All right, we're going over here to the Kenworth dealer. That's the plan anyway. There's the entrance to the Kenworth dealer. All right, we're gonna pull into the Kenworth dealer. We're gonna see about some uh, service to the truck. And, er, ding. Enters. Oh, I just noticed I need to sleep too. All right, so let's service the truck. Um, yeah, two hundred bucks. Sure. Cool. All right, let's also look at some upgrades for our truck. Um. Hmm. For nine grand, I can get a two hundred gallon tank on here. I mean, it really doesn't. Is it really, do, do I really care enough to put the 200 gallon tank? Not yet. Okay, I could put a 455 in here. No. Um, but I might, this is something I'm certainly interested in, a 13 speed. That would be good. Let's, let's put that on the docket. Interior, yeah, we don't care. Paint job, the white's fine. A rooftop deflector. God, they look ugly. I'm sorry, but those look ugly. Do I have anything else? I have a standard sun shield. Um, no thanks. Ah, we want these. I want hood mirrors. Daggummit. Daggermit, Kermit. I want some hood mirrors. Can I put a, like a big bumper on here? Ooh, I can put a bumper standard. Ooh. No. 
Uh, what's this? Door handles. I don't care about door handles. Mirrors. No. Driver's plate. No. Co-driver's plate. No. Um, I can put some seagulls on here. No, I don't want seagulls. What is this? I can put advanced tires. Advanced tires. Ooh. Uh, no thanks. Okay. I think... Oh, what's this? Click that button. Oh, we can put a different exhaust on here. Oh, wait, no, we, that's the exhaust we have. Never mind. Ah. All right. That's $7,000 for whatever I said. Oh, a better gearbox, basically. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. There. Better gearbox on the truck. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sleep since... We're in a place where that's possible. I know some of you want me to get the Kenworths and stuff, but we'll get there eventually. We got this Pete. It's good enough. Yeah, we'll just annoy people by parking like this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, goodness. We need gas, too. Tag on it. Tag on it, man. We need gas. All right, let's see if we can find some gas. Oh, Lane. gas -a hall Where are we going to go? Ah, we're going to go this way. We can get some gas -a hall Woohoo. All right, so we're going to take a left and left and then, boop, gas. And then, then we get back on the highway. And we go in this way because we're going to Eureka. Eureka. That's where we're going. Okay, cool. All right. Now you got a 13 speed. I can now... Can I? We're going to try to run without that mirror over there now. I think I can get away with that. Actually, that's a really bad idea, I've just noticed. <laughs> Stop popping up. I know some of you would be like, check the price of a Kenworth. Ah, uh, no, because then I'll just get the press that I only have 40 grand and I have loans coming out my... My wazoo. If you have loans coming out of your wazoo, you know how painful that is. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Seem to be good over there. Okay, we got that red light. So after this Cadillac. Oh man, a local local car dealer has a 1960s Lincoln Town car. I am so tempted. I am so tempted to go down there and be like, I'll buy it. Mine. I want it. Imagine how much fun that would be. I mean, the problem is it's like, it's like school bus yellow almost. It's pretty, pretty funky and crunky. But I'm like, ah, get a Lincoln Town Car like that. Oh, that'd be so amazing. Granted, it wouldn't actually fit in my garage. <laughs> the car would be longer than my garage. This is hilarious. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, sure. No problem. If you're all going to stop like that, I'm not going to say no to that. Okay. SCS needs to fix that. <laughs> all right. Whatever. Uh, look at the American flag flying proudly. There's Walbert. So I'm going to bring up mods again because because people keep bringing them up. I'm not going to put mods in the game until I've discovered the entire map because I discovered ha 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 that in ETS 2 um, it often caused problems with the map discovery and stuff. So I'm going to discover the entire map and then I'm going to put mods in the game. Now, probably the the real um, real what is it called real um, real factory not real factories real names mod that wouldn't do anything but still I'm like yeah I don't mind the game in its stock form what I'd like is probably a, an EMB shader on here real names definitely definitely gonna put real names in here. And then it's just a matter of figuring out what vehicles I want to see in the game. We're going to, uh, 
I don't know. Do not enter. What? Oh, for God's sakes. We don't have that around here. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna make this turn. I think I'm gonna make that turn beautifully. Much better than the first time. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. Alright, let's fill her up, man. There we go. Alright. We had 25 gallons left in the tank. That wasn't too much. I mean, we would we probably wouldn't have, well, we would have made it to probably the next. Okay, this is going to be fun. I think we got it. I think I'm just going to go out here. Climb the curb over here a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Alright, and then we can hop on right here. I like how they have a stop sign, a stop sign on the on the thing, and then a red light. It's like, how many times do you need to be told to stop? I think one of them three would do. What do I know? What do I know? A lot of you would say not much. There go. Look at that nice, beautiful turn. Okay, now I gotta remember... Ninth gear. There we go. All right, we're back on the road. Back on the interest state. I haven't driven through Nevada, but I can imagine it's as boring as driving through uh, the deserts of eastern Washington and eastern Oregon. It's like... Ugh. Yeah, that's my, that's my impression of driving through those deserts. Though when I was driving through Utah, through the deserts north of Salt Lake City, I did like randomly, I was driving along and they had the, the sign and, and me and, and Doss do this a lot, where we're driving along and we see a sign for like a national monument or something and we're like, okay, turn off. And that's what we do and, and we turned off, we end up going to the Golden Spike Memorial, which I think was pretty cool. I think 60 is my speed limit. I'm going to assume 60 until I'm told otherwise. So that's what we're going with. Helicopter! Helicopter. Um, yeah, so we do that a lot where we just kind of... Um, um, we see the sign and we're just like, yep, turn off. You find some interesting stuff doing that. Ah, we'll say. So the, the only downside to the nose mirror is... I can't see the trailer very well on the right nose mirror. And that's the only reason I have to run with that right mirror up. Because otherwise I'd get rid of it. Still, still, I think it's an improvement. I think our truck is improved. Well, oh, you know, last time, I think it was last time, I was talking about how much I wanted donuts. Because there was this donut place all up here. I had a donut today. They opened a Dunkin' Donuts near us. Ah, <sighs> yes. So I was like, okay, I'll go get a donut. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts and got a donut. And I was like, yay. Well, that was a couple days ago. Then they sent out a coupon. Or a coupon, as one of my friends would call it. And I was like, oh, they got a coupon. It's buy a half dozen, get a half dozen free. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'll just buy a half. What was that? Oh, I would presume that that was my loan payment. Uh, okay, I guess we're going for Reno. Yeah. Um, but I, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to buy a dozen donuts. So then I bought a dozen donuts. So now I have like not I ha not a dozen donuts downstairs because I've been eating them. Yes, tasty donuts. Tasty donuts. Look at all this hay back here. It's a lot of hay. That's probably a pretty good field, though. Let's see, what is that? Uh, that's three high. 
So it's six. Let's see if we can. Where's the where's the outside view? There it is. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's five. So that's thirty bales. I think is on here. 30 or 36? I'm, I'm going to go with 30. I think there's 30 bales on this truck. That's a lot of bales. That's a lot of hay. Not really. When I think about, like, uh, Volga, uh, uh, how many bales of hay did we get on that? Heck. Any of the maps. Well, the, yeah, any of the, the large-scale maps. The California map or whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of hay. Hey, you guys! <laughs> ah, coffee. Cold coffee, because I went for a walk. Because I was... Yeah. I went for a walk, and then I came back, and I was like, Oh, I didn't drink my coffee before my walk. Oh, it's cold. How tasty. Hmm. Have, you ever had, have you ever taken your hot coffee and put it in the microwave? It's a bad idea, I've learned. It's terrible. It's terrible. Ah, just a nice, gentle drive along the interstate here. Clouds look uh, slightly menacing. Not a not a beautiful day. The guy with the convertible might ha might have a problem. I have driven through rain so thick that you couldn't even you could barely see the the end of the hood of the vehicle. And it was just rain, and I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" And it was the interstate, and there was no place to pull over because the way. The interstate was set up. It just kind of slopes off really fast, and I was just, I was afraid to go over there because I couldn't even see what was over there. So I just drove along at five miles an hour down the interstate until I found an overpass. Then I hid in the overpass till the rainstorm passed, which was good because it turned out to, it turned into hail, and yeah, I didn't want hail damage. What kind of what kind of motorhome do you think that is? Yeah, it's one of those those newfangled like sprinter van motorhomes. I think it is. City limits of Reno. Reno 911. That's a stupid show. That was a stupid show. So we're gonna head to west. No, we're gonna have to get off of this. We're gonna take something else. Silverware. Yay. You know, I learned by reading a random book, because I read these random books, that uh, originally you had to eat peas with a knife to be proper. I was like, really? I could not imagine eating peas with a knife. Like, it'd be a butter knife cut type thing. You'd put the pea, you'd pull, use your, your fork to put the peas on the knife, and then you'd eat them off the I'm just like, what? You're kidding, right? And nope, nope, they weren't kidding. I was like, I don't think I'd want to do that. Looks like they're building a new building here in Reno. Probably another casino. Woo, post ed. Ah, Pony X X. Pony X would have been the better name. So we got the loan. Well, the loan. Ugh, ugh, I hate it. Um, but once we get the loan paid down, I think we'll look at maybe adding another driver. That might require us to. Oh, 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 oh. We actually want this turn. Yeah, towards Reading. Good job. All right. Follow this buddy up here. Hey, buddy. There's you going. I'm just going to keep my foot to the floor and just let the truck idle down. It's not that big of a deal to me. All right. What was I saying before I got interrupted by having to turn? I don't remember. That's good. Oops. 13th gear. Woohoo! Top gear! Ooh. 
I kind of... I kind of feel that I need, like, uh... Oh, crap. I need to get over is what I need to do. Yeah, we're good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Woo! Oh, crackers. Whoa, doggy. Whoa, doggy. Whoa, double doggy. What are you doing? Oh, crap. This becomes a single lane road. Whoa. Come on. Jeez. Gibbon! Gibbon! A bunch of gibbons! Jeez. What was I gonna say? I don't remember now because I was I was interrupted by the gibbons. It was a gibbon swarm. It was a gibbon swarm. It's the worst kind of gibbons, the swarms. It's like you buy the you buy the uh, the value pack of gibbons, but then the worst is when you get a gibbon swarm. Especially the unexpected gibbon swarms when you can't prepare for them with proper banana cannons. Those are the worst. Those are the worst. We're going to assume 50 miles an hour on this road because it's kind of twisty and kind of turny. Which is kind of a synonym for twisty. But whatever. All right. We should be crossing into California IA pretty soon. I think. If I remember correctly, this road about partway through, about halfway through, I think, is when it goes into California. And then we'll pick a, we'll cross I-5 and we'll keep, I think we keep on this road all the way into Eureka. We deliver hay to the horses or the cows. This amount of hay, I would presume, would be going to either a cow feedlot type operation or a very large horse farm. That's my presumption. We never had hay delivered like this at any of the horse farms I worked at. We also used the smaller hay bales that, you know, a human could pick up because it was just easier. Whoa. I'd like an RV. I'd love to take an RV and just drive around the United States for a year. And Canada. I'd totally go up into Canada, too. That would be cool. Just get an RV. Drive around. Visit, like, all the historical markers and national parks and everything in the lower 48. And parts of Alaska. And then Canada. That would be cool. I read in an article that they're finishing paving the road from crap. Was it Yellowknife up to oh, shoot? There's a road that goes from a Northwest Territory town all the way up to the uh, shore of the Arctic and the Arctic Sea and it's unpaved mostly, but they're paving it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I still want to drive that road. I'd also drive the Dalton Highway if I could. That's when it goes from Fairbanks up to Nome. That would be cool. Kind of those, you know, out in the backwood, don't screw up kind of things. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, those are some big power lines. I wonder where they're coming from. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a little place in Reading. A uh, little, little gas facility in Reading. 40 miles an hour. Pfft, no. <laughs> That's my answer. No. Because it goes to 55 right here. We're going 50. So we split the diff. Not really, but we sort of split the difference. Be quiet. I think it's a good idea. Turn in left. 35. Well, probably not, but we're going to pretend. I'll just let her idle all the way down as we go through here and hit the brakes at the very last second. Oh, there's, there's our usual truck over there. Crashed. 
Helicopters! Woohoo! You know, the one time I ran, I was driving hay on a truck. Well, we had a 350 dually, and we had the hay piled all the way up above the cab, and, you know, your usual. <laughs> your huge. We were coming down a hill, and a light turned yellow, and it was like, okay, if we slam on the brakes, it's like in your mind, you're like, if I slam on the brakes, I'm going to have bales of hay flying forward across my hood. That's probably less than optimal. Well, probably. It is less than optimal. But if I don't hit my brakes, some gibbon could not be looking and pull out in front of us, and then they're going to get smacked by a 350 with a whole load of hay. So we just decided, you know what? <laughs> Lay on the horn and just go flying through the intersection. <laughs> This is the best thing we could have done, probably. Obviously, the speed limit is slower than I'm going. How fast is the speed limit, little truck? Huh? Huh? Apparently, it's like 35. Oh, look, all those people are hanging out. Oh, I bet you that's like one of those party places, you know? Where at night, that it becomes a party place, but, you know, it used to be like a like a powerhouse or something and and so then you know all the all the hip kids they they get their party done down get go now party down at the powerhouse and they only do it at night that's probably what that is not that i would know anything about those kind of parties because i've never gone to one but whatever i was never a party person i was a concert person not a party person which I guess you could classify a concert as a party, but especially when it's like these really like intimate concerts, these small bands that most people have never heard of that I have signed memorabilia from. Like, let's see here. What do we got here? Let me think. How many of you, you can put this in the comments, totally. How many of you have heard of or own music from the band Trust Company or Jump Little Children. Those are two. Those are two bands that I know pretty well. <laughs> I actually have a guitar from Trust Company signed by the entire band hanging on my wall. Framed, even. So, that's cool. 40. How fast am I going? 40. Good. I think there's a cop behind me, so we're going to be sure that we're going 40. Yes, that is a cop. That is a popo -po behind me. Got a bear on my tail. I got a bear on my tail. <laughs> what road am I on? I'm on like California something probably. This is Derek Tibbers westbound on the California mirror. I got a bear on my tail. Watch yourselves. Ooh, 25. Jeez. That's nice and tight with a bear on your tail, ain't it? 35. Woo! We made it. You know what I don't understand in tra with trains? The speed limit changes when the back of the train crosses the speed limit sign. If you have a two mile long train, how do you know when the back of your train crosses the, the speed limit unit? I don't understand. Like I've gotten dinged so many times in train simulator because I'm like, oh yeah, it says I can go 60 now. No, you can't go 60 till the back of the train crosses the little marker. Why? How do I know when it crosses the marker? Doesn't make any sense to me. Train sim also annoys me because train sim, it's like, you must be perfect. You have to be better than perfect. I'm like, really? You can't be better than perfect. If you don't give me a, uh, like I, I, I was doing this one switching mission or something 
and it was like there were two time checks and I beat both time checks, but when I got to the end, they're like, nope, you didn't get a gold medal, you got a silver. I'm like, what? But I beat both the time checks. They're like, yeah, I know, but we're not going to tell you why. Ha ha. Oh, look, the beautiful sunset. Oh. Our lights on. Lord, are our lights on? I can't remember. Uh, uh. Why weren't our lights on? I don't know when our lights weren't on. They're on now. Our lights were not on for safety. Oh, we were unsafe, which is probably true more than you'd admit. Oh, there's a trucker behind me. He's probably annoyed. He's like, oh my gosh, would you go faster? Sorry, dude. It's a baseline duty cab. It's 21,000 pounds of, of hay behind me. I, you know, I can only go so fast. I could go faster, probably, but I don't want to go any faster. Because I'm not, I'm trying not to be a Recky Von Reckerson and wreck every single time. Just once in a while, which we haven't done yet, thank goodness. Thirty-five. Well, we're going forty-five. Now we're going thirty-five. <laughs> Ooh, a nice twisty, tight, turny road of evil. Turn on our high beams until we have an oncoming traffic. Just so we can see what we're doing. This is like the, the road up to Estes Park, Colorado. All twisty and turny, and if you go off one direction, you're going for a long ride down. <laughs> uh... Wouldn't want to make that turn, that's for sure. Don't turn left here. It's a bad idea. Okay, we can turn this off because we're coming into like a residential area, sort of. And we got to turn up ahead anyway, so we're going to kind of pay attention for that. All right, 35. That's fine. We can do that. Ah, here's our turn. Get into a gear. Other than the gear I was in. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm not worried about going very fast here, because we're, we're in delivery mode at this point. Where are we pulling? Oh, it looks like a very large... What is this? Oh, it's a winery. What do they need to hay? Oh, I know what they need hay for. Hey, guys, how's it going? Alright, looks like I'm parking over here. I was like, what would you need hay at a winery for? But then I remember you, you need it a lot of times. Okay. No, I'm not going to skip the parking. I know what I'm going to do. Now I know how you want to park. And thankfully you have the space over here to, for me to do the spin around. go and the winery had used the uh the hay to cover the crops in the winter so that they don't get like crop burn or cold burn or whatever they get when it's cold oh. <laughs> Boink. Woohoo! we did it look at that we made it yeah buddy Woo! Continue. All right, we made it to Eureka. All right, closest place is Eureka here. So driving down there, we can go down the Santa Cruz, back to Jackpot. No, <laughs> frozen fruit. Back to Jackpot. No, cars to Elko. Oh, that could be something we could do. Um. Ooh, cars to Oakland. It looks like a Tesla on the front. Beverages. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we know what kind of beverages. Are. Oh, that's right where we're at. You know what? We'll probably do this one because, well, I don't know. It's only nine grand. Fruits to Sacramento. 
That one might be actually the better one to do. Because I'm thinking, you know, I'm right here anyway. It's a good drive into Elko itself, uh, into Eureka itself. So if I just take from the the Darshal Yuzao or whatever, drive that down to Sacramento, then when I get in Sacramento, I can kind of pick up something from there, you know, to Bakersfield or Oxnard. What's this down up here? Hornbrook. Why do I not get anything to Hornbrook, I wonder? Diesel to LA, Barstow, Eli. What are all these places? San Francisco, San Rafael, Oakdale, Huron, Bakersfield. Okay, I do need something to Bakersfield. Barstow. Oops. Carlsbad, San Diego, and El Centro. We also need to get to Tonopa and Carson City, and then we'd have all of that done. Let's check our roadmap really quick before we finish for this particular episode. Oh, we, we have some discovery we have to do in Eureka. Ooh, that makes it tempting to go into Eureka. It really does. I think we'll I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take We're gonna take a load back down to Sacramento. And then we'll get something out of Sacramento somewhere else. Maybe Barstow, maybe Bay. I don't know. I think that's how we're going to roll. I think that's how we're going to roll. Okay, so next time, we're going to take something out of the wherever we are, and we're going to go to wherever we need to go. Um, that made a lot of sense, I know. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. So 91 grand left to repay. Ah. All right. Kind of saddening. Truck dealers. Oh, can I? Uh, I guess I can't do it because it'll actually take, it'll change the time and then I'll lose some of those trips. Okay, let's not do that. All right. Anyway, uh, next time we're heading down to back to Sa Sacramento, back to home base. And then we'll figure out what we do from there. Until then, remember, drive safe around trucks. They're bigger than you. They make you go squishy, squishy when they drive over you. Don't be squelched. Buy a truck.